Emariuma. Hello. I am coming. Emariuma, okay, tamam. ماشي يا حبيبتي. يلا بدنا نبدا. يلا بينا. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. مول ان افوكادوز نمبر. اوكي. وي ار جوينج تو ميك ريفيجن فور ذيس بارت بيفور كومبليتينج ذا اذر بارت. اوكي. مول ان افوكادوز نمبر. سو وي سيد بيفور What's meant by Avogadro's number? It's a concrete number uh, representing the number of atoms, molecules, or ions in one mole. It equals uh, 6.02 times 10 uh, per 23 matter units uh, that mole. <clears throat> okay. So one mole, it means that one mole of four equal 44 gram of it has 6.02 times 10 power 23 molecules, okay, and so on. And this is the first example that we said calculate number of carbon molecules in 48 grams of carbon diatomic. So uh, first we are going to calculate the molar mass of carbon, which equal C plus C, 12 plus 12 equal 24 gram as a diatomic element. Therefore, we are going to calculate number of moles. And we said before, what's the rule of number of moles, Maria? Number of moles? Yes. Okay. Have you reviewed? Have you reviewed? Yes. Yes, okay. mass of muscle over mass of one mole. Yes, mass of substance, mass of substance divided by molar mass. So, equals 48 as mass of substance, 48 grams divided by number of mole, divided by a molar mass equal 24. So equal two moles. And we said, what is the rule of Avogadro's number? Number of moles equal what? Number of moles? Yes, equal what? As Avogadro's number, Mariam, I think that you didn't make a revision. Yeah? Only this part because I didn't understand it well. I tried to, uh, to revise it, but I didn't understand it. So you didn't understand? Yes, only this part. Because only I was this, so tired. Only this part? Yes. Okay. Listen to me, Mariam. I'm sorry, but I had the school yesterday and it was not good. Okay. I didn't have it. Uh... Okay. So we said that this is the first rule. And we said that number we said that number of moles, number of moles equals what? Equals mass. Substance over molar mass. Molar mass. Okay. Okay. It's the first. It's the first rule. 
Any problem in any problem in this first rule? No, in uh, in this rule, no. But in autocad is number rule only. Yes. Okay. This is the first rule. Okay. Second rule. Second rule. Second rule, which is called number of moles, number of moles equal to number of ions or molecules or atoms over Avogadro's number, right? Yes, right. It's the main rule over Avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 power 23. It's a fixed rule. Okay, Mariam? Okay. It's a fixed rule, second rule. So we have two rules. We have two rules yes. of number of moles. First rule, which is very important, as we can get number of moles, okay, by this rule, which is called the number of moles equal mass of substance divided by molar mass. Okay, while number of moles according to Avogadro's number equal number of ions or molecules or atoms divided by 6.02 times 10 power 23. Okay. Yes. Okay. Is this is this uh, shown to you? Okay, by by this uh, line yes. or different yes. line? This time, no. Uh, this time I have the better uh, internet, so it's good. I can see it. Please, please, Mariam, try try to repair your voice as you can use uh, hand free. Okay. Uh, to be a clear or to have a clear voice, okay? Because the voice has has very small noise, okay? Yes, because I'm I'm wearing wireless. Mine are has no wire. Yeah, so I think yeah, that this wi this wireless can make uh, echo, can make noise uh, till now. Okay, okay, no problem. Is this two rules? Is there a problem in these two rules? No. Okay, so let's return it back. This first example, number of molecules, how can we get it? Number of molecules equal what? Equal number of, uh, of number of molecules. Yeah. Uh, equal number of moles times by Avogadro's number. Excellent. So number of moles, two times Avogadro's number, this equal 12.2404 times 10 power 23 molecules. Okay, any problem? No. Example number two. Okay, try to calculate it, Maria. Then give me the answer. Okay. Calculate the number of carbon atoms as a, as a previous example. Calculate the number of carbon atoms in 50 grams of calcium carbonate, CaCO3, where calcium equal 40, carbon equal 12, and oxygen equal 16. So try to make these steps to calculate the number of carbon atoms in 50 grams, okay? Try to answer it, then give me the uh, final answer, okay? Take your time. You have 
three minutes only, okay? Okay. Go. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Four. Have you finished, Mari, or not? Not yet. Have you finished? No, I have a problem. Okay, okay, take your time. Okay. Yes. Are you finished? Have you finished? Okay. Yes. Try to remain, try to make a revision. First, we are going okay. to get one mole of carbon dioxide, of carbon, uh, calcium carbonate first. One mole. Because yes. we must yes. get molar mass, molar mass of calcium carbonate. So calcium carbonate, CaCO3, Ca equal 40 plus C equal 12 plus O3 equal three times 16. So equal 100 gram first. Therefore, 100 gram equal one mole of calcium. Carbonate contains one mole of carbon, one mole of carbon. So 50 gram of calcium carbonate equal what? Equal 0 0.5 mole, okay? So we can get it by number of moles equal what? Equal mass of substance over molar mass. 
Mass of substance, 50. Mass of substance, 50. Molar mass, 100. So 50 over 100 equals 0 0.5 more. Finally, number of carbon atoms equal what? Equal number of moles, which equal 0 0.5, times Avogadro's number 6.02 equals 3.01 times 10 power 23. This is our last number. Can you get it? Yes. Okay, it's right, no problem? Yes, no problem. It's okay. So we are going to move to this part, which is called the unique reaction, okay? Yes. Wait for a while, Mariam, wait for a while. Excuse me, Mariam. Mariam. Yes. Let's complete. Yes, let's complete. Okay, so ionic reaction. What's meant to by ionic reaction? Some physical, proper, uh, some physical processes as the dissociation or dissociation of a uh, dissociation of some molecules into ions. When they dissolve in water, are described by ionic reaction. So this ionic reaction, okay, this ionic reaction expressed by the reaction that can be dissolved in water, can be dissolved easily in water. What? The one that must dissolve in water? Yeah, 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 yeah. They must dissolve in water, dissolve completely in water. Okay, to produce ionic reaction. As when dissolving sodium chloride in water, 
We describe it by the following ionic reaction as NaCl, it's ionic compound. By dissolving in water, it will be ionized into sodium ion plus chlorine ion. So it will be ionized into what and what? Into sodium ion and chlorine ion. Sodium ion and chlorine ion. Okay. So it's called ionization ionization, okay, or ionic reaction. The previous reaction states that a solid mole of NaCl produces a mole of positive sodium ion, which equals 6.2 times 10 power 23 ions, and also a mole of negative chlorine ion, which also equals 6.02 times 10 power 23 ions, when it dissolves in water. Okay. Okay. Do you understand this equation? Yeah. Okay. So also when sulfuric acid, when sulfuric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide, okay, forming sodium sulfate and water, it's called Neutralization reaction. Neutralization reaction. We describe the reaction as the following, as 2NaOH plus its, its sodium hydroxide plus H2SO4 aqueous sulfuric acid. It will produce Na2SO4 sodium sulfate plus 2H2O water. Okay. Try to describe this previous neutralization reaction by ionic equation. So 2NOH will be divided into 2Na plus OH. H2SO4 will be divided into H2 plus SO4 negative 2. Na2SO4 also will be divided into 2Na plus SO4, negative 2. While water can't be divided, so it will be as it's simple, 2H2O. Okay, what do you observe, Mariam? Try to read your observation. We will notice from the previous ionic Equation that the ions of sodium and solar and sulfate didn't take part in the chemical reaction, but they found four bonds with the, with water molecules forming uh, sodium sulfate. Yes. So. Ionic it's, equation. What? Ionic equation by. Yes. By ionic equation. Ions with yes, it's ionic uh, equation. That, yeah. Um, by uh, ion extinction, the reaction of ions with other forming new compounds, therefore ions of sodium and sulfate, were omitted because they didn't react with, their, with other ions. The final ionic equation of this uh, neutralization reaction is as we as well is uh, to be to be what OH negative plus H2 positive to produce. 2H2O. It's called the ionic equation because these ions can be simplified with each other as 2Na at left side and 2Na at right side. SO4 at left side and SO4 at right side. So they will be what they will be simplified to produce finally OH plus H2 equal to H2O. It's called ionic equation. Ionic equation. Do you understand? Yes. Any problem, Maria, until now? No. Okay. Example. Okay. Example. When adding potassium chromate K2, Cr, K2, Cr2, O7 to silver nitrate solution. AgNO3, insoluble silver chromate. So it will produce Ag2 
CR2O7 is formed as a red precipitate. So the equation will be K2 CR2O7 plus 2 Ag NO3 RO to produce 2K NO3 plus Ag2 CR2O7. Find the ionic equation of the previous reaction. Okay, solution. First, K2 will be ionized to K, a, a, into 2K plus CR2 B to CR positive. O7, what? It will be 2CR positive. Plus yes. O7, O7 will be 7O negative ion plus 2Ag positive ion plus 2NO3 negative ion to produce 2KNO3 so will be 2K positive plus 2NO3 negative plus K2 C plus uh, Ag2 uh, sorry plus uh, K2 CR2 O7. Okay. It's a finery. Okay. So K2, CR07, AG, NO3, produce 2K, NO3, AG2, CR2, O7. Okay. Finally, potassium and nitrate ions are removed. Potassium and potassium. Nitrate and nitrate will be removed. Okay, because potassium nitrate is an aqua solution. Therefore, they didn't react with any other ions. So what are the product? 2Cr plus 7O plus 2Ag. Well, equal, this is not K2. This is Ag2, Cr2, O7. Okay, it's a mistake here. Okay, it will be what? It will be yes, sorry. It will be yeah, it will be two CR plus. Uh, 7 O plus 2 Ag to produce C Ag to produce Ag 2 K Cr2 O7 K Ag2 okay. Cr2 O7 Okay, Maria. Okay. So finally, 2CR positive plus 7O plus 2AG equal AG2 CR2 O7. Okay. This is must be okay. edited. Okay. So after that, we can use the following steps to solve any ionic equation. What are these steps? Number one, we write the reactance of left-hand side in the form of the ions. Then aqueous product, which have aqueous sign near them on left-hand side are written in the form of ions, okay? So aqueous solution, which have AQ sign can be written in the form of ions, but we don't change the other product. Okay, we omit the ions of aqua solution product from both sides. We will omit these ions. Finally, we we'll write the ionic equation as the previous two examples. Okay, Maria. Okay. Do you understand any problem? No. Okay. Try to listen to this video, please. 
Okay. okay. Amadeo Avogadro was an Italian scientist. He gave his name to the number of particles in a mole. Maybe you don't yet know what a mole is. If so, just have a look at our video on moles before moving on with this lesson. Avogadro's number, Na, or the Avogadro constant, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles per mole. It is the number of atoms per mole of the carbon-12 isotope. For atoms, the mass of Avogadro's number of particles is equal to their relative atomic mass in grams. So, the mass of Avogadro's number of hydrogen atoms is 1 gram, and the mass of Avogadro's number of chlorine atoms is 35.5 grams. For molecules, the mass of Avogadro's number of particles is equal to their relative molecular mass in grams. So, for example, the mass of Avogadro's number of hydrogen molecules, or H2, is 2 grams, and the mass of Avogadro's number of chlorine molecules, Cl2, is 71 grams. If someone asks you, what is the mass of Avogadro's number of chlorine particles, it is impossible to answer the question without the person going into more detail. If by chlorine particles they mean chlorine atoms, the answer is 35.5 grams. If, however, by chlorine particles they mean chlorine molecules, the answer is 71 grams. In 1811, Avogadro proposed his hypothesis which stated, equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. This hypothesis made it easier to perform calculations involving gases. This means that one mole of any gas will occupy the same volume as one mole of any other gas, provided that they are at the same temperature and pressure. The volume occupied by one mole of a gas is called the molar volume. Molar volume is measured in decimeters cubed per mole. At room temperature and pressure, the molar volume is taken as 24 decimeters cubed per mole. Let's look at an example. What is the volume occupied by 4 grams of oxygen at room temperature? Do you feel ready to work this out yourself? If so, pause the video while you work it out and press play to resume to get the answer. OK, so let's look at what we already know. We know that one mole of any gas at room temperature occupies 24 decimeters cubed. One mole of oxygen gas, O2, has a mass of 32 grams. So, 32 grams of oxygen gas at room temperature occupies 24 decimeters cubed. Therefore, one gram of oxygen gas at room temperature occupies a volume of 24 divided by 32 decimeters cubed. And so, 4 grams of oxygen gas at room temperature occupies a volume of 4 times 24 over 32 decimeters cubed, or 3 decimeters cubed. Did you get it right? Well done. Do you understand, Marion? Yes. Okay. So now we are going to move to our booklet. Okay. Allah Allah. Mole and volume of gases. This is another part. Mole and volume of gases. Try to read first part. It's known that the volume of gas is the volume of its container, but scientists discovered that mole of gas occupies such a volume of 22.4 liters if they are put in certain conditions called the standard temperature and the pressure, STP. At STP. So what's meant by STP? It's known that the volume of gas is the volume of its container. But scientists discovered that moles 
of all gases occupy certain volume of 22.4 liter. If the, so it's a constant, it's a constant volume, okay? Mole of any gas equal 22.4 liter. It's a constant value. If they are, you have, okay, you must have one conditions. What is this condition? If they are put in certain conditions, they're called standard temperature and pressure. What's meant by standard temperature and pressure? It's simple, is STB. STB, S standard, T temperature, P and pressure. So what about STB? STB means that the presence of matter in war in temperature equals zero degree. So temperature must equal zero degree Celsius. And we said before that zero degree Celsius equal what? 273 Kelvin. 273 Kelvin, okay. And pressure equal okay. 70, 760 millimeter mercury. 760 millimeter K okay, mercury. It's simple of atmospheric pressure or one atmo or one atomic or one atmospheric pressure. So this means that this means that a mole of a methane gas, mole of a methane gas, CH4, occupies volume of 22.4 liter if it's an STB. And the same to, mo to okay. a mole of hydrogen gas, H2, and any gas. So finally, any gas, one mole of any gas, one mole of any gas at STB equal 22.4 liter. So it, it's volume at STB. Do you understand? So yes. volume of gas equal what is the third rule? Third important rule, okay? okay? Volume of gas in liter equal 22.4 times number of mole. So what is the new rule? What is the new rule? Volume of gas in liter. Yes, try to listen to me. Okay. The third rule to be three pyramids. Three chemistry pyramids, okay? Must be saved, Mariam. Okay. Must be saved because they are very important rule. Okay. So. Okay, I wrote them. Already. Yeah. Okay. So number of moles. Number of moles. Equal to volume of gas. Volume of volume of gas divided by what to any two point four to any two but it's a uh, must be must must be at STB must at STB okay. okay. This is the third rule. Okay, so we have three pyramids. Three pyramids. Number one, yes. it's a very important one. Number of moles number equal. Yes. Equal number of ion molecules or atoms over. Uh, no, no, first, first pyramid. Our... First pyramid. It's number one. First pyramid, number one. Okay. And it's number two. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay, number two. Uh, yes. First one, number of moles equal mass of substance over molar mass. Number yeah. two, number of, uh, of moles equal number of ions, molecules, or atoms over yeah. a battery's number, uh, 6.02 minus 10 power uh, 23, and it's affected to uh, the first Excellent. one is the volume, um, is the number of moles equal volume of gas over 22.4 and must be at STP. Excellent. So, Mariam, you 
must observe that uh, all these three rules have number of mole, okay? Have number yeah. of mole. But what's the difference between them? This is last one, number of moles, if you try to answer any problem in gas as volume of gas. Yeah. But this is number of moles, second one, okay? Uh, when you try to solve any problem that uh, he needs number of ions or molecules or atoms, okay? And yeah. this, the first one, it's very important for any problem that you must get number of moles that equals to mass of substance over molar mass if the number of moles is not found. So you will get number of moles equal mass of substance divided by molar mass. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Any problem in these three rules? No. Okay, let's uh, take some example about this rule. Calculate the volume of 64 gram of oxygen gas in STB conditions where A oxygen equals 16. How can we get it? First, first, okay, in. If one mole of oxygen gas, O2, because it's a diatomic, so it will be O2, and molar mass of O2 equals 16, plus 16 equals 0 to gram. It's first step. You can get molar mass of compound of each of either compound or uh, element or molecule that you will answer it okay you must get its molar mass in this case in this example yeah. this example okay the example is oxygen gas so molar mass of oxygen gas equal to 16 plus 16 equal to 32 gram because it's a diatomic molecule because it's a diatomic molecule, okay? So after that, okay. after that, uh, we will get the uh, oh, number of moles as number of moles equal mass of substance divided by molar mass. Mass of substance equal 64. It's known, 64, it's known from the yeah. example. Divided yeah. by molar mass that we calculated it, which equals 32 gram. So 64 divided by 32 equal to moles. Equal to moles. This is number of moles. Two. Then after that, what about the volume of oxygen gas? Volume of oxygen gas equal Two. equal what? Equal number of moles times 22.4. So equal to 2 times 22.4 equal what? Equal 44.8 liter. Okay. Okay. Any problem? Okay. No. Okay. Second example. Calculate the volume of oxygen gas. Okay. Required for 90 gram of water. Required for 90 gram of water. When reacting with hydrogen in STB equal what? O equal 16 and hydrogen equal what? So solution, 2H, we must write the uh, equation, the main equation, 2H2 plus O2 produce 2H2O. So try to calculate it. Two hydrogen, two moles of hydrogen plus one mole of oxygen gas will produce two moles of water. It's okay. Any problem? Yes. Two moles no. of hydrogen gas react with one mole of oxygen gas to produce two moles of water. There is no problem. Okay. So I calculate the volume of oxygen gas. So he needs volume of oxygen gas for 90 gram of water. Okay. First, one mole of water. One mole of water equal what? Equal H2O. H2, two times one. O. Two, yes. two because we have two uh, hydrogen atoms. Time is, no, time is one because it's atomic mass of hydrogen. OK? 
okay, plus 16 atomic mass of oxygen atom. So equal 18 grams. We have 18 grams. If one mole of oxygen, if one mole of oxygen produces two moles of water, two moles of water, okay, one mole of oxygen produce two moles of water and one mole of water equal 18 gram. So two moles equal what? Equal 36. Yes, equal 36 grams of water. Therefore, the number of moles in oxygen gas equal what? Number of moles equal mass of substance, which oh. equal 90 gram, oh. divided by molar mass of substance, molar mass of substance, which equal 36. Okay, so equal 2.5 mole, 2.2.5 mole. Yes. Okay, so the volume of oxygen gas okay. equal what? Equal number of moles, which equals 2.5 times 22.4 equal 50 liter. Equal 50 liter. Do you understand, Mariam? Yes. So first, we must write the main equation that we need as this calculate the volume of oxygen gas okay required for 90 gram of water we're reacting with hydrogen so the equation will be hydrogen plus oxygen producing water so 2h2 plus o2 equal to h2o so you must make balance you must make right balance because if you didn't didn't understand how to make right balance i think it will be a mistake okay yes so okay 2h2o 2h2 plus o2 producing 2h2o two moles of hydrogen plus one mole of oxygen producing two moles of water and if one mole of water equal 18 grams so if one mole one mole of uh, oxygen produce two moles of water so yes. what is the number of moles that produce okay if the two uh, moles of water produced so 36 gram so a number of yes. moles of oxygen gas equal what equal 36 equal 90 well, mass of substance divided by molar mass yes. equal 36 to be 2.5 mole. So finally, the volume of gas equal 22.4 times 2.5 equal 50 liter. Do you understand, Mariam? Yes. Any problem till now? No. Okay. So laws on gases and mole laws on gases and mole okay what about this laws of gas and mole uh, this is a rule which is called j lossex law j lossex law what's meant by j lossex law the volume of reactant and product gases have certain volume expressed in whole number the volume of reactant and product gases have certain volume expressed in whole numbers as in other words the volume of reactant gases and product are inversely proportional inversely proportional which means that if one volume of hydrogen react with one volume of chlorine so one volume of hydrogen chloride gas is formed and if one volume of nitrogen I gas what i have a problem in the last thing you said the yeah, it's the, okay we'll right, repeat it is, uh, no. so so we'll repeat it okay. repeat it okay this j lossex law the volume of reactant and product gases have a certain volume expressed in whole numbers Suppress in whole number as the decrease uh, the decrease 
in reactants, decrease in the volume of reactants, okay, represented by increase in the product, in the volume of product, okay, as okay. if you as if you make reaction between hydrogen gas and chlorine gas, so the volume of hydrogen gas only and volume of, of chlorine gas only will be decreased to increase the volume of hydrogen chloride gas. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, okay. So, number two, if one volume of nitrogen gas reacts with three volume of hydrogen gas, so two volume of ammonia gas are formed as balanced equation. Okay, balanced equation. Okay. Uh, Avogadro's law, equal volume of gases in same conditions of pressure and temperature have the same number of molecules. It's called Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law, equal volume okay. of gases Okay. In the same conditions of pressure and temperature, okay. have the same number of molecules. Try to repeat it again, please. Okay. Avogadro's law is the equal volumes of gases in the same conditions and pressure and temperature uh, have the same number of molecules. Have the same number of molecules. Okay. So, try to complete. Avogadro stated that any gas of, uh, of volume 22.4 liter, one mole of gas, in the standard conditions of pressure and temperature, HTP, has 6.02 uh, times 10.23 moles. Molecules, okay. At the end of this lesson, we conclude that mole has three definitions, okay? If you remember, first, the definition of mole, first definition. Okay. Yes. Ions and atoms uh, in grams. Expressed in gram. The okay. One, number two. A, a constant number of molecules, atoms, ions, or uh, or, or formula. Or formula units. units. Yes. With values uh, equal six point zero two times ten power twenty three. Yes, it's the meaning of one mole, of one mole of molecules or atoms or ions or formula unit equal Avogadro's number 6.02. The third concept. The mass of 22.4 liter in the standard conditions of pressure and, and temperature. And temperature, okay. So finally, mole is the quantity of matter which contains Avogadro's number of ions, molecules or what or atoms, okay? Yes. Do you understand, yes. Mariam? Yes. Any problem till now? No. So all these definitions and summary of lesson one, okay, try to read with me. Number one, chemical equation. I read? Yeah, yeah, try to read. Uh, chemical equation is the representation of chemical reaction using ke uh, chemical symbols from units of reactions and the products and the conditions of it. As a okay. number, the number of atoms, molecules, and atoms in, in one mole of matter, 6.02 times 10 or uh, 23 matter, uh, units, or moles. Mole is the mass of atoms, molecules, or, uh, or from you like units of matter in grams. Which contain Avogadro's number of them. Avogadro's law equal volume of gases in the same condition of pressure and uh, and temperature have the same number of molecules. Uh, they, uh, Guy Lussac's law, the volumes of the acids and the products uh, and the products and the products gases have same certain volume expressed and whole number. Yes. Okay, Mariam, complete, Mariam. I said all the definition. I said that to give reason. Yes, give reason. 
Okay. Well, uh, the volume of 26 gram of acetylene gas CSC2H2 is equal to the volume of 2 gram of, of hydrogen gas in its TV condition. It goes the yes. mole of, of acetylene molecule equals 26 gram and the mole of hydrogen molecule equals 2 gram. By applying Avogadro's law, we'll find that the volume of both gases are equal in STP conditions because they contain the same number of moles. Yes, they contain the same number the of mole moles. Mass. Okay. The molar mass of, uh, of phosphorus differs according to its physical state because in the gaseous state, phosphorus molecule consists of four atoms while in the state, it consists of one atom. So the molar mass of gaseous phosphorus is different from the first of Yes, okay, number three. Liter of oxygen has the same number of molecules in a liter of chlorine gas and it should be conditioned because according to Avogadro's law, equal volumes of gas and, and uh, it should be conditioned mm -hmm. the same number of molecules. Yes, number four. The number of molecules in 9 gram of water H2O is equal to the number the uh, to that and 39 gram of aromatic benzene C2H2 because the mass of one mole in water nine gram, whereas the mass of one mole of uh, aromatic benzene 39 gram, they have the same number of molecules according to uh, Avogadro's number because they uh, they have the same number of moles. Same number of moles. Okay, equal number five. Chemical equation should be talented in uh, in order to get the required amount of uh, of product. Product. Gas Six. should be in its conditions. Gas should be in its conditions in order to calculate its, uh, its volume using its molar mass because uh, in its conditions one mole of any gas requires volume of 22.4 meters. Yes, number seven, last one. The molar mass of sulfur in solid state is different from that in gas state because uh, a molecule of gas uh, sulfur contains uh, eight atoms of sulfur, while that of solid sulfur contains only one atom. So they have different molar masses. Yes, yeah, different molar mass. Okay, so I think that we finished this lesson. Okay, and this exercise yeah. will be homework, inshallah. And we are going to make a revision for this homework in next session will be next Sunday, inshallah. Okay, Mariam? Inshallah. But when? It's back in the middle of the day. It's back in the middle of the day. برجع من المدرسة الساعة اثنين أنا بروح حد وثلاث. تمام أوكي ترجع على الساعة اثنين طب خلاص يبقى زي في معدنا على الساعة خمسة إن شاء الله تمام. إن شاء الله تمام. ماشي ماري ماشي يا الله يا الله جود باي ماري. Good boy.